check out your drunk fake ghosts. Excuse me, y'all. Hey, welcome to another lollygagging episode of Midnight Frights. Glad you're here. Glad you got to see my haunted yard sale. It was a real mob scene earlier. You should have seen the crowd. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. I had to sell a bunch of junk. I've got so many movies that I created having created movies and I have to sell a lot I came upon a bunch of old ones that don't have any sound on them because when I invented movies I forgot to invent sound so we've come upon this cool new technique of overdubbing old films I got together with Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and a Ouija board and we came upon this technique that Houdini calls ghost slavery and we enslaved our old actor's ghost. Anyway, it's a real treat. You're gonna love it. So get your popcorn pop, your snack snacked, and get ready for tonight's film that I have called House on Haunted Hill 2.
the will. Have any of the heirs arrived yet? No, Mr. Crosby. Mammy Pleasants, you must have been lonely here these 20 years. I don't need the living ones. Come in. Come closer. Closer. That's right. I'm Vincent Price. You'll be just as safe in this house of fear as any of the other five victims murdered by the bat. In all of the annals of mystery, there's never been a more elusive, fearsome, and cunning killer. He'll lure you through hidden passages to make you his next victim. But nobody lives forever, so why be afraid of the bat? have been dead? Oh, I'd say about a half an hour. You believe it was the bat? That's a bat's trademark. Perhaps he's still in the house. That's possible. It says here that the bat never leaves no fingerprints. That's understandable. Having no face, he probably has no fingers either. waiting for you. been in this house. I locked this safe 20 years ago and, and, and now a moth comes out? Look at this one here. God, I can't believe this. Why are these this way? These have been tampered with. No ghost could have opened these envelopes. knows the combination of that safe, but you. Nobody knows the combination but you. And... the ghost. You expect me to believe that? Hogwash. <laughs>
Bobby Blythe. <laughs> it's good to be back. The others are waiting in the study. What was that? The others are waiting in the study. Thank you, Mammy. It's all gone. Hello oh, there. Gentlemen. Surely you remember your little protege, Charlie Wilder. Yes, of course. Well, this place looks the same. Hello, Cousin Harry. Harry, it's about time you forget your family quarrels. Cousin Harry. Mm-hmm. You're going in that place? You'd never catch me in that place. Why? Why? Go! Let's get moving. Crosby is waiting. Gosh, what a spooky house. Let's get moving. I think she needs oh, a hello, drink. Charlie. tell you. Ah. Mammy, get that boy's jacket. Your jacket, sir. That's my hat. What was that explosion we just heard? I was driving along, and a bullet whizzed right by my nose. I was driving along when I heard a shot. Hi, Paul. Hello. Are you okay? I heard a shot. Hello, Paul. Uh, hello. I was driving it. Paul, what happened? Uh, hello. I was driving along and... Hello, Paul. How are you? Hello. Uh, as I was saying, when I heard a okay. shot, it missed me. And... If I can have your attention, I'm sorry to break this up, but Crosby, it's midnight. Time to read the will. We've got to wait for Annabelle West. Oh! That's her now! There's 
no one in here. Oh. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hi, hello. Annabelle. Uh, hi. Hello. Hi, Annabelle. And so I was driving along, and this cat crossed the road like it almost wanted me to hit it. And so I almost did. desires transcend reality. The mysterious powers of black magic, these you will explore. Now what is it you need? You got some dried blood off a bat in the house? A raven will take you careening through the darkest of dangers into the ominous mystery of a master magician's evil castle. Afraid, my dear? I offer you a choice. The secret of your hand manipulations or this against this. Well, don't just stand there. Do something. This is no answer. Very well, then. A duel to the death. of Dracula, a creature who destroys all whom he touches. Dracula the terrifying, the feared, who sleeps in the tombs of the dead by day and arises at night to inflict his terror upon the innocent and the unsuspecting. You must help me. You must. You're my only hope. You must. I'll help you. This is not Lucy, the sister you loved. It's only a shell, possessed and corrupted by the evil of Dracula. How do you destroy a fiend who has so far proven himself indestructible? Those who come to end his reign of terror stay to become his victims. Castle Dracula is summoned here in Klausenberg. Will you tell me how I get there? You ordered a meal, sir. As an innkeeper, it's my duty to serve you. When you've eaten, I ask you to go and leave us in peace. This is the doctor who dares to challenge the vampire Dracula. This is the anguished man who fears for the lives of his beloved, the girl who is his sister, and the one that is his wife. Dracula, the bedeviled master of all that is evil.
Huh? Oh, oh Annabelle! We were wondering if you were going to make it. Oh. Annabelle. Why, Paul? It's really you. I haven't seen you since the nurse dropped me on my head. Oh. I'll bet she's crazy too. We'll see. <laughs> Oh, hello, oh, Cecily. Hi, it's so good to see you. Oh, hello, Aunt <laughs> We should get started. That clock hasn't struck in 20 years since the old man died. My relatives have watched my health as if they were cats and I a canary. They have nearly driven me crazy because they believe I am mad. My entire estate goes to my most distant relative bearing the name of West. Well oh, done, oh, Annabelle. Oh, thank you, Charlie. Well done, Annabelle. Thank you, Cecily. Oh, oh well, congratulations, thank you, Annabelle. I, I don't know what to say. I, I don't know why Uncle chose me. I, I'm very happy for this you. This is all so surprising. It's a, it's a shock. Oh, Paul. Hmm? Uh, thank you. Oh, we should open that at once. You're to open this envelope in his room tonight before you retire. It was his last wish. I didn't want the crazy fool's money. Susan, money. please. Cecily, we're leaving. I'm going. What's in that envelope? Diamonds. Famous West diamonds. Diamonds. Congratulations, my dear. There is an embarrassing condition attached. Tonight, a physician will establish if you're unfit and the entire estate will go to the name in the envelope in my pocket. A physician? Oh, I eat an apple every day. I beg your pardon. What was the last thing you said? With the tranquility of rural England shattered by civil war, evil was spawned at a time of strife in the land. Take him, Stern. Look for the devil's marks upon him. Run. Help us, you two. Pounding the innocent in violence and terror, this evil man showed no mercy in the pursuit and interrogation of his victims. He was called the Witch Finder General. And amidst the horror of the witch hunt, 
a story of tender young love. Didn't your uncle just say you must early to bed? He did. And isn't he a wise man? He is. But even their innocence is cruelly corrupted by the vile touch of the witchfinder general. My motive in coming here was to find the truth. Vincent Price is the witchfinder general. Lust and greed were his only gods. The money from the magistrate. Nine guineas in silver. Good. Now we can leave. Ian Ogilvy as Richard Marshall. He stood alone against the forces of devilish destruction. And it is in thy sight, O Lord, that I hereby swear I shall not rest from the pursuit of his murderers till they stand before thee, ready to answer to thee for their sins. Rupert Davies as John Lowe's. Master Marshall, welcome. Patrick Weimark as Oliver Cromwell. Amongst the most pleasurable aspects of victory, gentlemen, is the opportunity it affords to reward valor. It ranks almost with good food. And Wilfred Bramble. And uh, what line of business might you be in? God's business. Witch finding. Witch finding. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. And introducing Hilary Dwyer as Sarah. Filmed in authentic detail and photographed with piercing realism against the actual background of peaceful villages and quiet countryside. Never has England looked so beautiful, yet been so violent. I'm your man friend. John Stern, they call me. Man's inhumanity to man portrayed on the screen so vividly that you flinch. So real that you too will fear the witch finder general. Ah! Ah! Be the first to see it. Be the first to talk about it. The witch finder general. It's Halloween. Oh. Ah. <sighs> hey, y'all. I got a dilemma. Ghost slavery. Ghost slavery. Ghost slavery? That expression bothers me. There's got to be a catchier term to express seizing ghosts against their will and making them do work for you for free. But anyway, y'all come on down to my yard sale. I've got all kinds of products, videos, robots, Godzillas, at reduced rates. Come on down. I'm expecting to see your face after this next segment of House on Haunted Hill 2. And when you come down after this next segment of House on Haunted Hill 2, I'll show you my haunted shed. And it has all kinds of cool stuff in it for sale. He said the air must be proven sane. He dictated that paragraph because he knew that all his relatives thought him crazy. He was crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> this is an evil omen. her down. Aunt Susan, oh, are you okay? Slowly. You've had a fright. Something terrible will happen here tonight. Oh, not again. Sit, sit down for just a little longer here. It's just too much excitement for her. Aunt Susan, are you okay? Okay, here I go. Congratulations. I hope it makes you very happy. Paul. Please don't go, Paul. Don't leave me alone with these people. I'm sure Mammy Pleasant will be glad to serve you something if you go into the dining room. A fine idea. 
capital idea, Annabelle. Could you prepare something for everyone in the dining room, please? This way. Thank you. See you soon. Oh, you're welcome. Come along, everyone. You are just like your uncle, in a cage surrounded by cats. that something terrible would happen tonight. That business with the portraits about death. Good night. Good night, Charlie. Good night. And Susan, good night. Oh, Sorry, I have to go. I have to go now. Good night, all. One, two, three, four, five. Got Hello, to sir. keep Hello, sir. Excuse me. What are you doing here? An escape lunatic is at large. <laughs> He's either in the house or the grounds. I tracked him to your driveway hey. gates. Hey. Huh? Are you saying we have a killer with us right now? Yeah, a killer. His victims don't look like much when he's done with them. They look like an animal's lunch. Leave it to me. I'll lock the doors and windows. I have experience with this kind of thing. What are you trying to give us? A bedtime story? A bedtime? <laughs> Please, bear Let me no tell you. It's okay. It's, it's okay. Okay. Let me tell you something. If you ever saw this lunatic, you wouldn't think it was a bedtime story. He's a maniac. He tears off their heads, hey, he chews it off their take eyes, it easy he now. rips off their easy. legs, and he, and he treats them like they were little canary birds. Look here, getting so excited I'm, isn't healthy. I'm doing my duty. You better show me around. Okay. You all stay together. There was a killer who bought a haunted house and had a party for a bunch of strangers. tonight. <sighs> In case your sanity is questioned by the doctor who comes tonight, you ought to be warned who your successor is. Okay. This envelope contains the name of the heir in case you are adjudged insane. Oh. The one named in this envelope has opened it. Oh. And put me in a morally deleterious position. For, you see, the one named knows the conditions and may do you harm. So, my dear, in case your sanity is put into question by the physician who attends these hallowed proceedings yes? tonight. My dear. You... Annabelle West ought to be warned who your successor is. My dear, the name is... Annabelle, what's the matter now? Mr. Crosby disappeared. Disappeared? He disappeared with the envelope. Yes, Annabelle. Tell us where he is this instant. I'm not in the mood, Annabelle. What are we doing in here? Charlie, she's Mr. been hysterical here. When this dead hand moves, 
the monster created by a man they called Mad, is turned loose to strike terror into the hearts of men. <laughs> to shock women into uncontrolled hysteria. Elizabeth! To prey upon the innocence of children. This is the story you've heard about, talked about. The spine-tingling, blood-chilling story that stuns your emotions. Frankenstein. Don't touch that! William Castle, and I feel obligated to warn you about the next attraction you will see at this theater. The picture is The Tingler, which I directed. And for the first time in motion picture history, members of the audience, including you, will actually play a part in the picture. You will feel some of the physical reactions, the shocking sensations experienced by the actors on the screen. I guarantee that The Tingler has more shocks per minute than my last film, The House on Haunted Hill. But don't be alarmed. You can protect yourself. When you see the picture, you will be told and remember the instruction how you can guard yourself from attack by the Tingler. And now may I show you a few scenes from the Tingler? Crosby's disappeared. disappeared. Annabelle doesn't know what Into happened. thin air. I'm Susan, you don't understand. Annabelle? What's the matter? What happened? You can tell me. Didn't I tell you? She's as crazy as Cyrus West. This place is falling apart. But I... We'll all be killed. Will you please shut up? Just take it easy, Annabelle. We'll figure everything out. Just take it easy. Where was Crosby when you last saw him? Right there. Huh? Oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh. Sicily? See, this place is falling apart. Didn't I tell you? She's as crazy as Cyrus West. 
Susan? Why don't you look for Mr. Crosby instead of staring at me? Well, of course. It's a very large house. Mr. Crosby must be here somewhere, and we'll find him. Just take it easy. But I tell you, I don't know. He disappeared. Your rooms are ready. See, this place is falling You've apart. I've had a fright. <laughs> Who's that girl? Over there. That one. Don't you see her? Well, that's Annabelle West. <laughs> I see you haven't found anyone to put in your jacket yet. No, but I will before I leave. Mm. Thank you, guard. Huh? I know you will protect Aunt us. Susan, come on. Good night, Cicely. Good night, all. So that guy I was telling you about also believed in a thing called the Tingler. It lives in your back and when you're afraid it gets bigger. Walk this way. Nobody has slept in that bed since the death of Cyrus West. Twenty years ago. Forget the letter. Good evening. Paul. I feel sociable tonight. May I come in? Th thank you. Uh... Please. Come sit down over here. Yes, sit, sit. Okay, yes, this will be fine. What's, what's it? Don't you be f frightened. I'm in the house. Invited to my party in the house on Haunted Hill, where so far the ghosts have murdered only seven people. So won't you come and make it eight? You'll see human heads without bodies. Mysterious pools of blood dripping from the ceiling. The walls move slowly in against you. Don't try to escape, you can't. Would he hurt you? 
He would kill me if he could. So far tonight, one of us was almost killed by a falling chandelier. One of us has been driven to the brink of absolute hysteria, and one of us is dead. Were these accidents? Suicide? And we must stay here for six more hours. Are you ready, dear? No. Yeah? Yes. Damn you. Pritchard, if you know where she is, you better tell me now. She's gone. She's gone with them. And there's nothing you can do about it. The ghosts are waiting, so won't you join a house on Haunted Hill? Hooray. These everyday people are about to relive their dreams under hypnosis. They are not actors. Listen. All of a sudden, we walk into a room. I turn around, there's no doors. There's no windows, and I have to go home. As I go to kiss her, it seems as though we're surrounded by mosquitoes. Only he's not wearing any clothes. Charlie! Charlie, watch the bayonet! Watch the bayonet! What are dreams? What do they mean? When you dream, you wander into another world where everything is strange and terrifying. When you dream, you become a night walker. <laughs> and now, a warning from William Castle, producer of The Night Walker. Do you know that a dream can kill you? Gruesome thought, isn't it? <laughs> Do you hear that? It's the scream of a woman having a nightmare. I love you so much. That is the voice of a woman asleep, dreaming. Does her lover exist? Is he real or is he only a dream lover? This can happen to you, too. I know why my dreams seem real. Because when I'm awake, my life with you is like a nightmare. My lover is only a dream, but he's still more of a man than you. might be too much for you. I'm not at all clever, Annabelle, but I care a lot for you. I like you too. Golly. I'd have been named in the will, Annabelle. I would have offered the fortune to you. Thank you. Yeah, good night. Good night. I don't like 
this room. Me neither. Let's find another room, someplace where we are not expected to be. to see anybody get out of oh. here. <laughs> okay, time for bed. You're not what Aunt Susan expected. Come on. Come on. You're just a no good peeping Tom, that's what you are. I came in here to protect you from the ghost. I saw one What's in the, the hallway. Big idea? Oh, you oh, hiding underneath oh, of our oh, bed. Oh, How long have you been I under here anyway? You think that, what do you, what should, do you think I this is just a free for all? You can't just hide anywhere you please. Everything in this house is so dark and we don't know where we are and we keep changing rooms. How dare you, I say. How dare you, sir. Get your room. I almost had a heart attack. I just never. I just never. horrible and we're all going to die in this crafty dark house. And you hiding under the bed. I won't hear another word of this, you horrible man. Now get out. Oh, Aunt Susan, you didn't hear that? How you dare can't make me go sir. out there. We Sicily, are ladies. tell me you, you heard that. You should not be hiding under a lady's Sicily heard bed. That. Oh, I heard my that. feet hurt and my sciatica. Please don't make me go Move out there. Move that chair and get okay. out. All right. Out with you. Yes, ma'am. Out, out, out. All men are alike. Yes, ma'am. Only okay. some are worse. Good now night. Please, get out. Shoo, 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 shoo. This, this one? No. No, no, maybe this, no. Oh. Anything and it looked like a ghost? There may be one standing behind me now.
notify the health department immediately if you have a plague victim in your home. Look, let's talk about this. There's nothing to talk about. You think I'm out of my mind. got away hey y'all you missed it y'all missed the uh, rush of customers paying customers during the during the last segment of the movie um, I'd say there's probably about a mob of 18 or 19 thousand people buying up all my incredible treasures all my amazing movies and uh, good God listen to that so if uh, now that the chickens have flown the coop after the next segment of the movie, you foxes come on down and we're gonna go inside the haunted shed. My secret haunted shed. It's haunted. Right over there. Annabelle, what happened? They were like a claw or spiders. I had a necklace and they took it. I screamed and they disappeared. Come on, Aunt Susan. Come on. I'm not going. You have to. Come on. And, and it was in the wall. I hit a button yes. and it opened. Let's sit you down. Aunt Susan, you won't believe it. it. It took my necklace. Now what? What happened? Harry? Take it easy, Susan. She's fine. She's had quite a shock. Well, okay. I never. Charlie, what happened? A hand grabbed her, took her necklace. A hand? Yes, maybe you should talk to her. And Susan, there's this necklace in, in this box, and, and I put it on, and it, it was beautiful. And, and I was laying down, and something came around, and they put their hands around, and they grabbed me, and they touched my beautiful necklace and snatched it off. Yes? So, you had it? Grabbed it right off! Yes, 
Hands came out of the walls and took away your necklace. They came right out of the walls. Please believe me. Right out of the walls? Oh, yes, that's exactly oh, Susan, what happened. Please, yes, Aunt Susan. Hands came out of the walls quiet. and took away your necklace. Aunt they Susan, came right shut out up. of the walls. Cicely? She's absolutely crazy. That is not true. Oh, no. Where did this happen? It reached in through the wall. Are you that sure? That wall right there. And it grabbed my throat. There's nothing funny about this wall. No, Take it easy. But you You're gotta safe believe now. Hold he on, came through that wall. Safe. It's okay, I'm here now. Annabelle, we're safe. I'm sorry, Annabelle. No! It had to be there. You're wrong. Right. It's wrong. There's nothing funny about it was this there. wall. You it's have a to regular me. wall. Annabelle, no. you see nothing happened. No, you get, get off of me. Get a get hold off of, of me. yourself. It was right uh, there. Annabelle, that I'll guard's got a jacket with your name on it. <sighs> Study. Good idea, Paul. She needs some air. Come with me. Sicily, Good idea, deal with Paul. Charlie. To the study. She's out cold. Put her here. here. Hello? Paul, give that to me. Hello? Hello? I can't get the phone to work. Sicily? Go get her some water. Come with me. It's okay. Sure, Charlie. It's okay. You I'll can count on me. Oh. Huh. Watch it. It's okay. Horrifying. It's okay. I couldn't Come believe with me. my Come with eyes. Me, Sit down this and be place quiet. This is filthy. Will you There's please shut up? everywhere, and they're in my mouth. Did you I reach the police? Just, this is just too dirty. It's time for us to go. We need to leave. Oh, oh. What? Where are you going? You you I'm can't leave us here with him. Now now, stay with the others. I'm going for the police. <laughs> Hello, Mammy. I'm going for help. I'm going for the police. You'd better stay here. Well, if you say so. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Alive, surging up from the depths of the sea on a tidal wave of terror to wreak vengeance on mankind. Godzilla, king of the monsters. It's alive. A gigantic beast stalking the earth, crushing all before it in a cyclonic cavalcade of electrifying horror, raging through the streets on a rampage of total destruction. Godzilla, king of the monsters. Incredible titan of terror. Wiping out a city of six million in a holocaust of flame. Jet flames cannot destroy it. Bombs cannot kill it. All modern weapons fail. Is this the end of our civilization? Can the scientists of the world find a way to stop this creature? 
For the answer, C, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. You may wish to deny it, but your eyes tell you it's true. A tale to stun the mind. More fantastic than any ever written by Jules Byrne. More terrifying than any ever shown on the screen. Awesome. Incredible. Unbelievable. A story beyond your wildest dreams. Dynamic violence. Savage action. Spectacular thrills. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Fantastic beyond comprehension. Gripping beyond compare. Astounding beyond belief. The mightiest monster of them all. See Godzilla, King of the Monsters. At Lanier College, they have the finest security, the best teacher-student relations. No fraternity hazing. Strictly enforced curfews. Shh. What was that? And a killer. He's come back. Final exam. When are you going to realize that the whole world isn't made of psychopaths? There's a murderer around campus killing people. Some may pet. Lisa! God help the rest. So. This night couldn't get any worse. It's okay. Madness it's in a okay. Haunted house Charlie is going to get help on the Susan. loose. We have to He'll stay here and victim. stay calm. The killer will you get really us have all. to calm down. I don't know how you can just tell me to relax. You say that like it's so simple. I can't believe you even have the gall to talk to me that way. I can't relax. This is insane. <gasps> we need to get out of this house. This is just awful. No, no, leave me alone. I'm not going to listen to you anymore. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> It's okay, Aunt Susan. We have to help Annabelle. It must have been that maniac who killed Crosby. I'll go find the guard. Yes, the guard. Get him! Paul, what did Paul. you do? What's Tell this all about, right Paul? Now. Sit back Paul, and relax. Tell me what's going on. Miss okay. Crowley disappeared. Aunt Susan and he fell out of the wall. And then you faded. It's her. It's okay. It's okay. She did this. Oh, yes. Calm down. Hands came out of the wall. Just sit down. Shh. Quiet. Just relax. Shh. It's okay. You're going to be okay, Aunt Susan. Don't worry. Aunt Susan, shut up. I have an idea. Well, what is it? Don't interrupt me. Shh, wait. I have an idea. Paul, wait, tell me. Don't. Wait a second. I think I'm thinking. I told you. He is sick. Shh. Sick like you, Annabelle. Shh. Huh? huh? Wait, I got it. Huh? No, that's it. I. No, that's not right. Oh. Uh. Wait, I got it. Huh? The envelope in Crosby's pocket. The person named in that envelope is the one who murdered Crosby. Paul, are you sure? 
I'm going to take that envelope out of Crosby's pocket. I'm going to do it right now. If you're going, I'm going. I can't stay here with them. Don't worry. I'm going to do it right now. You're not going in there by yourself. There's a killer on the loose. I'm going to do it right now. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm going to do it right now. I'm going. And that's all there is to it. What are you doing? Oh, you two no. stay here. We'll be oh. right back. Oh, no, no, no. Careful, Paul. Come on. Come on. Be brave, Annabelle. No turning back now. Huh? Where's Mr. Crosby? Where could he be? He's gone! there. Annabelle, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. No, Paul! Oh, you've got to help me. It was dark. Went in, okay. and, and Mr. Crosby was gone. Oh, all right. And there was cold air coming from the wall. And there was a passageway. And Paul went in. And okay. then I couldn't find him. And it slammed shut. And I couldn't open it. It almost crushed me. It was a wall, a trap door, just like last time. Okay, you stay here. <gasps> Where's Susan? I thought she was with you. <laughs> Susan! 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 Where is Susan! It? Come back! I'm getting out of here! Susan, come back here! No way! Susan, don't go outside! Come back here, Susan! Oh no! Come back! Crosby asked me to come here tonight. Is there something bothering you? Well, Are you upset? First, Mr. Crosby was murdered. Then a hand. Oh. Like a claw or a spider came out from the wall and stole the necklace I was wearing. A monster hand. It groped from a hole in the wall and... And now Paul and Aunt Susan have disappeared. Oh, 
Oh, please stop. This is all too much for oh, me. Oh, too, too much for you. Oh, die. Dear, dear. Could I have a glass of water? Oh, yes. Uh, here, right here. Here you go. Oh, oh, well, what is this? Pacific Island, where an expedition of world-famous scientists investigate incredible rumors of its fantastic mysteries and discover barren volcanic mountains surrounding strange green valleys. Mammoth caves that breed giant mutations. Vampire plants that devour humans. But most astounding of all, the tiniest women in all creation. Sacred beauties of a lost tribe which worships a monstrous creature. What is the secret of Mothra? What is the bizarre spell that awakens Mothra? As these doll-sized girls call to the super god from captivity. Mothra. Mothra, whose revenge is more devastating than any man-made weapon. Mothra, who defies warplanes. Wrecks ocean liners. Smashes dams and bridges. Mothra, creating hurricanes. Mothra, enveloped in a shell that no human force can penetrate. Mothra, indestructible, all-powerful, indescribable. What kind of creature is this god monster, Mothra? Do I, um... Annabelle! Is this for me? Annabelle, I can't find Aunt Susan! Oh, who are you? I'm the physician. You are related. Yes, yes I am. How about we take a walk? Well, okay. That poor girl is not well. You should be careful. Oh! What did you say to that man? Take it easy. Here is a easy. second test did you say to see if it the graphic equalizer over there. can be dropped Mr. into Crosby. another clip. Um, oh my. Thank you. Bye.
idea of shaking up all that milk. <laughs> Have you been drinking? Ghost people in the Cyrus West Get house. Drunk. Don't be smart. A haunted milk. Okay, hop on. Must I go back? We're gonna check out your drunk fake ghosts. Slow down. Oh, my hand. Oh, son of a bitch. are fake. No, those were mine. Those were supposed to be mine. <sighs> What's going on? What's happening out there? Everything's all right, Annabelle. The guilty man is caught. Here's your oh, necklace. I don't want any of it. The mansion is yours too, but you don't want to live here all alone, do you? So Charlie's had this plan for years. I knew it wasn't a ghost, Harry. Uh, well, let's just hope that was all the excitement for tonight. Mmm, big room. Nice. I saw them go in here. Are you positive? I think that chair's got eight legs. Get going. Where are those nice policemen? <laughs> policemen? Policemen? Hello? Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
golly, would you look at all this junk? I've never seen so much junk in my entire life. Really frightening. Oh, goodness. Look at this. This is flipping me out. I'll sell it to you cheap. Who left their kid in here? Please go over the rest of the car. This is freaking me out. Really creepy bike in here, too. Lord have mercy. Gotta sell all of it. God, I gotta get out of here. Y'all, I'm down. I'm scared. Oh, stop! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out. Let me out.